Hello, everybody. Today for Sunday Fun Day, we're going to see how I draw the paper girl. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, the paper girl. So here's the idea. I, I wanted to draw uh, funny names like, you know, the wooden boy, the paper girl, stuff like that. But then I thought of a paper boy. It's like, okay, well, what if he's a paper boy? But what if, what if this paper girl is, she's, she's, she delivers a paper, right? But she's a spy. And that's the whole idea is that she's around you. She's, and you let her see in your house and stuff like that. But she's really a spy. That's what the whole thing is about, that she, she really, uh, you know, reports you to, you know, whoever she's working for, that kind of thing. So, I just thought it'd be fun to draw like a spy character. Um, yeah, a spy character. And we're going to say that's what she does. She she uh, can get around and see you and, and report and see in your house. And that's what she does for a living. She's a, a spy. So that's the whole point. That's, that's where I came up with Paper Girl. And that's what... Uh, what the idea behind this is. So I'm giving her like some cool stuff, like a cloak, and uh, she's got her, um, like uh, I, I was gonna say like, uh, well, a paper sack, like a sack. We gotta do that, a little bag to carry her, her papers, you know, the fraudulent papers. But um, I'm gonna put uh, like a walkie talkie in her hand, like this, an old school walkie talkie. And uh, honestly, this ended up being just a good excuse to draw a bunch of wrinkles and folds because I thought of it as like a, she's wearing a poncho, right? She's wearing a poncho for the rain and stuff like that. But then, then uh, that just gave me a good excuse to draw wrinkles and folds. You know, that's, that's what I wanted. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna draw a bunch of layers of wrinkles and folds and stuff. And that way that's kind of the excuse to, uh, to draw all this stuff, you know? And she's got a cape on. <laughs> Again, like a, a good excuse to, to draw layers, you know? That's really what I was going for, layers. And she's just gonna be wearing like a pants, nothing special, just, you know, just uh, uh, rain pants and, and galoshes. Uh, for some strange reason, I'm really, really placing her in a rainy environment. I don't know why, but that's that's what I was thinking of when I said, or when I started sketching this out. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in a in a in a large rainy environment, and that's the reason I need um, rain boots, you know. But again, there's no reason to. There's no reason for the cape. There's no reason except for just me being able to draw layers. That's really what it came down to. I just liked a layered costumed. Uh, character and maybe let's see what if we drew like she's holding binoculars right because that's what she was she was uh, watching you with so I'm gonna draw some 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 kind of layered it looks gonna look like bottles or whatever but it's gonna be basically binoculars okay again it's more of just a reason to draw spy stuff and reason to draw layered wrinkles and folds that's really the entire thing that's it that's all it is Okay, cool. This this worked out really well. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do that through there, and then, yeah. And so now I gotta come up. Let me add some details real quick, um, just to make like a uh, uh, a walkie-talkie. Like, let's see if she's like this. I'm kind of looking in the in a mirror as a reflection. It's like it would be up like this. There's the edge. And then her fingers would be wrapped around. Right? Yeah. Let's 
something like that. And then I can put it here, the little little button, give it a little old old school walkie-talkie with a wire, put something on the back like a little clip, and that's where she's reporting you. And that's it. That's the only reason I I, I wanted to do the paper girl. She's really a spy. Okay, so let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast because I just want my sharpie to stand out, not the pencil lines. And sometimes, like this, you just gotta you gotta throw lines down to get to where you're gonna go. And as you as you get there, you start pressing harder, and those are your confidence lines. The initial sketch lines they're lighter, they'll erase much easier. And so, like life, you get rid of your sketchiness and you keep your confidence. And that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I say let's get going. I say we welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Ooh, let me retape too. It looks like the paper popped up. All right. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little fire than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of my sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see other things, other Sunday fun days, and other fun stuff to do, check out the playlists. And just check out the playlist in general, because I do all kinds of different things, and chances are I've probably already drawn what you want to see. Now, I've explained why I'm drawing what I'm going to draw. I'm just going to come in here and show you that she's wearing a, a bunch of layers and like a raincoat. So for the head, I'm going to go ahead and show you the top edge, and then I'm going to show you the um part that you can see because there's her head right wearing the coat raincoat and then the open part hanging down like this okay now that also means we can only see so much of her face right but i needed you to see the edge of her head so you can see why we're in here with the face i'm going to draw this eye first like that and then the other one is kind of underneath the uh, the edge of the um, the edge of the, the hood I guess what would you call the, the the edge anyway let's get drawing <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little bit of a retina like this I'm gonna draw a little bit of one over here that's the color part of the eye now I'm gonna just dab it with the sharpie for the, uh, uh, the pupil this is so tiny I can only get so many details in so I'm not gonna add that much I'm going to give her a little bit of, a, of an eyelash on top, then come in down with the bottom, and that's it. Same thing here. This one kind of disappears, and I can't really draw much, but I don't want to draw the under eye. You can if you want to. Mine will bleed because this is so tiny. So that's all I'm going to add right there. I'm just going to come in and do that, and that's it. So for her eyebrows, I'm going to do that. Come in like this for that one. But again, I'm being very subtle because I can only do so much. So, I'm going to add her nostrils, the edge of her nose basically, like that, but that's all I can really do because like I said, it's going to bleed too much and the rest I'll do with color. Try to kind of round them out a little bit. So, okay, so see, the more I'm adding, the more it doesn't look right to me, so I'm going to stop right there and let color take care of the rest. So here I'm going to add her mouth, top lip, a little bit like that. Bottom lip gonna come down, connect it like this. I'm gonna draw her chin right about here. I'm gonna come up and draw the side of her face. And I didn't really think about hair because I'm more considering the, the hood, the top of her head. So for hair, let's just do something like this. Hang on, let me thicken up this edge. For hair, I'll just kind of bring it in like this a little bit. I'm not too worried about it because again, it's all covered up by the uh, um, the top of the hood right there. So I'm gonna draw her neck like this. Maybe bring some over the hair like that. But then that's all I'm gonna do because again, her her coat and the hood of it is, is just taking up a majority of of uh, of the. Uh, um, Color, I guess. I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, room to show her head. Now I'm going to start to thicken up some of these outer edges too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width and I like to make it consistent. 
you'll see why whenever I do it. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to, especially if you're working with pencil, it's not as necessary. I'm just doing it as like an inking technique to kind of make it look all consistent. And plus I know what that's gonna look like, so that's why I'm doing that. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna switch over to the other Sharpie and I'm going to start drawing the layers. That's what this is all about. Fun, 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 fun layers. Okay, so her original top part of the hoodie is like a coat, I mean like a, like a, an open cape type kind of thing. But see how thick this is? That's what I'm talking about. Crazy thick. There's a shoulder. Like that. Same thing with this. This one's going to be over here, over this shoulder. Like that. Let me add some some stress lines, some, some work lines. And you know, I think I want to thicken up this, this edge of the um, the hood because I want to differentiate between the um, what she's wearing and the lines on her face. So I am going to make this a little bit thicker to make it more consistent. Okay. All right, cool. I like it, I like it. Okay, so, um, next patch. So uh, she's wearing, um, on there's a, the cloak, and then there's a rain poncho on top of this. So her arm is bent up. So the rain poncho's up, lifted up, and then you can see her arm. So now I'm gonna come in here to her hand, like this. Layers after layers after layers of cool, cool, fun stuff. So that means the poncho is going to be lifted up like that, coming down, and uh, um, you're going to see her her paper sack, right, that she carries the paper with. But again, I need to jump in front and draw the stuff that's in front. So her hand is holding the walkie-talkie, thumbs up on the edge like that. Fingers are coming down, wrapped around. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the, the whole hand like this and then add some fingers. And let me let me add with the, the small Sharpie some specific details because sometimes that Sharpie is too big to add uh, nice details. That's why we can't have nice things Sharpie. But I mean, it wasn't made for small stuff like this, so it's okay. Okay, so there's her hand. Ooh, well I've got it. Let's start adding some more of my favorite wrinkles and folds. Wrinkles and fold. Nope, you know what? We got music playing. I can't I can't be talking over it. Alright. That's what this whole thing is about. And like I said, if you want to know exactly why she's called the paper girl, go back to the uh, sketch section and I talk about it, the whole idea behind her. But also, I'll get, let you in on a little bit, is I just wanted to draw a whole bunch of wrinkles and folds. That's what it comes down to. Just so much fun. It looks so nice. All right, so, walkie-talkies like this. Like that. And let me draw like an old school, old antenna with a little circle on top. See, there's a button right there. There's a little back Morse code button on the back showing you how to do that. There's where you put the batteries in, and it's her, her communicator, basically. I want to draw more hand lines. I want to draw just some stress lines right there, but I need to stop. I need to stop. Okay, but now that I've drawn what's on front, I can draw what's underneath. And so her, her satchel is strapped across her back like this. Her back strapped across her like this and coming down here to the satchel. And so we're gonna say the flap is over like this. Again, just a good excuse to draw a bunch of lines and folds and all kinds of cool stuff. And there's her the satchel. And let's add just a little bit of, of, not really detail, but like, yeah, I guess, I guess detail, but that's not really the word I'm looking for. Like, I want to just make it look like 
it's uh, used, it's worn, you know? Like there's stuff in there. Okay. And I'll do more with color, but you know, I just wanted to kind of give it some life, basically. Let's thicken this line up just a little bit to differentiate from the other lines I put in there. All right. Ooh, I can't, I can't. I gotta, I gotta add a note. One more. One more. Okay, so, uh, like I said, this is a poncho, so we're just gonna add some lines like this, like there's stress lines, and so it's wrapped around her, hanging down like this. And uh, it's coming down here it's, it, because it's it's lifted up by this arm. This one's coming down, but you can see this hand. We're gonna draw this edge of the poncho. Again, I'm gonna draw some lines and wrinkles. Again, I just that's that's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted it was nothing but wrinkles. This one is holding binoculars, so you can see it's her shirt, the thumb around like this wrapped around your fingers and then we're going to draw binoculars or at least cylinders that are connected right because they may not be exact binoculars it may be a little off looking but we're going to say well they're cylinders that are connected right maybe they're binoculars maybe they're cylinders that are connected <laughs> Because you know what? I mean, I'm not perfect. I can't draw exactly perfect with that tiny Sharpie. But we can give it a good try. We can draw spy stuff. And plus I can clean it up a little bit with this Sharpie. So that's that's why I'm not too worried about it. Okay, but yeah, since her hand is wrapped around it, that's all you can really see of her hand. And there you go. So. Now, I'm going to draw, and she's just wearing like shorts, nothing nothing crazy here. There's her shirt, her pants hanging down, and I'm going to draw like this part of her leg. Like that. This one's coming up here like this. And uh, she's got big old galoshes. I was talking about this in a sketch that for some reason I see rain outfit. I, I don't know why, but for some reason that's what I was going for, like some kind of rain outfit. Like she has prepare for the rain. I guess that's that's it. As part of being a spy, she's just she's ready for anything, you know? So rain galoshes. Then her leg, all you can see of her leg is gonna be like this. Okay? Into the boots. Coming down here. You see in the front of this one. that this is the side so you're gonna see this knee into the boot this one's coming down there's the front of the toe galosh like that and then I'm gonna add some detail but I got to remember that this is a poncho we're gonna say it's hanging back like this and so now I could draw the rest of her cape that's just hanging down like that okay so we're going to say that this is kind of wrapped back, so that means there's a little bit of a layer hanging down like that. Same thing with this. It's going to be hanging down like this, coming up like this, and there we go. So again, it's kind of wrapped around instead, because usually we draw the cape with the edges furled around to the front. These are kind of pushed back. And again, this is there's no other reason for this besides just me getting to draw um, wrinkles and folds. I just wanted to draw a bunch of wrinkles and folds and uh, and, and just get, get fun. Have some fun. And maybe we'll say that there's a very special pattern on these boots. It looks kind of like this. that'll give us something to draw to. Let's let's also draw like almost like a like a hazard across the uh, the shoe. It should probably be done with color, but it, it'll break up the negative the negative space here and let us have a little fun. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday fun day, that 
is the paper girl. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.